Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Samantha Farley, and today we are going to change my Dexcom. Before we do that, it is morning, it is Monday morning for me, which is when I take my long lasting insulin and I take it at 7 a.m. and it is 7.02 a.m. right now, so I need to take it. So I wanted to show you a little bit more about my Basiglar. So this is what it looks like. If you are in pens, you will know. To backtrack a little bit, there are plenty, plenty of ways to get your long lasting insulin in, whether it's through a pen or a pump or injections or vials. There's, there's lots of ways. I am still on the pen. So I take eight units at 7 a.m. every morning. And this is what it looks like. So we'll go ahead and put it in my arm. All right, so I'm going to put eight units in my arm. I have my pen here, you just take the lid off. And then I grab a new needle. So as you can see, it is covered and protected. It's good to go. So I just rip that off, put it directly on my pen. Pull it off, you'll see there's a little protective cap here. Be careful. <laughs> I've done this several times where I'm not, you know, I'm moving too fast and I take off that protective thing and I'm still swinging this around and I poke myself. So make sure you don't do that. Now here, I'm going to move this to eight, seven, eight. So you can see it says eight here. I'm on eight. It's going to push eight units of insulin into my arm. There's a trick that you can do where you can push your arm up against something to make it a little bit easier, but for the video, I'll just show you directly. You also wanna make sure the bubbles are out. You gotta tap it a little bit before putting it in your arm to make sure all eight units get in. As you can see here, I'm just gonna put it in my arm. Okay, it's in. And then I push and I got all eight units. So as you can see here, I usually hold it there for about 10 seconds just to make sure it all goes in. And I might push on my arm a little bit just to make sure that the insulin isn't going in. Then you can see when I was done, be careful of the needle again, but now it's at zero. So all eight units went inside my arm. So that is what I do every morning at 7 a.m. It's pretty simple, honestly. A lot easier than fast acting insulin. So that is my basket book. Stay tuned for my CGM switch. Okay, so it is time for me to change my CGM. It's been on my arm for 10 days. I try to make the time to be a morning change because I like to get it over with in the morning. If I don't, I like worry about it all day. <laughs> I'm weird. I don't know. So as you know, I just took my Basiglar, but now I'm going to change my Dexcom. There is that two hour warm up period. So you do have to be careful to make sure, you know, your levels aren't going high or low during that period. But I think everything will be fine. As you can see, this is where my Dexcom is currently. This is the old one. So I'm going to take it off. <sighs> that burns every time. <laughs> I get a little markings from the bandage, but that's all right. And you can see from the hole there, it was bleeding a little bit. It's never a fun thing, but that's the wire and the blood a little bit, but good thing I'm changing it. Got to take out the transmitter, which is in the middle before I put on my new CGM. I use Dexcom. The reason I use Dexcom is, well, my doctors gave it to me. <laughs> that is really the only reason that I use it. I don't really know anything about any of the other ones. This works great for me, so I use it. My insurance covers it, so it's great. I've had mostly good experiences with Dexcom, but sometimes it's just completely off, and so you do have to be careful. I do recommend, once you put it on, pricking your finger also to make sure that it is aligned, so you're not either dropping when you don't know you're dropping or if you're high and you don't know you're high. We're gonna put on my new Dexcom. And I think I'm gonna put it on my other arm again just because well, I love it. It's winter and I wear jackets all the time. So I'm going to just put it on my arm again. Dexcom doesn't actually recommend you wear it on your arm. They say your stomach or abdomen, but for some reason it works best on my arm. So I always put it on my arm or I tend to put it on my arm. I can put it on my stomach, but certain spots just irritate my stomach. So I usually choose the arm. So as you can see here, it gives you a little code, which you'll put into your Dexcom app. Very, very simple. It takes two seconds, honestly. So you're going to scan that or you can type it in too, but you can scan that through the app and it will register with the sensor. I just scanned this in the app. So I would have shown you how to do that, but I'm recording this on my phone, <laughs> so I can't do that. It takes two seconds though. Um, so once you're done, pull this off. Underneath is sticky. So before you do anything, you're gonna want to uh, wipe your arm, which I also just did. But as you can see, you can do this. Um, you wanna do a soap and water or some wipes. 
um, of some sort just to make sure there's nothing on your arm prior to putting on your new CGM. This is sticky. You put it where you want it to go. So there we go. Okay, I'm putting it on my arm. I hold it there for a little bit, make sure it's sticking. Then you hit this little protective thing off. Okay. And then you hit this for it to attach on your arm. Gotta love that noise. That one did not hurt me at all, so that's great. <laughs> so you're still not done. It is on your arm now, but you have to put the transmitter back in. I do recommend wiping this off before putting it back in as well, um, because like I mentioned, I was bleeding on my last one, so you wanna make sure all of that is off. This is what it looks like. All right, and then let me put it in. There we go. You're all set to go. So then on your Dexcom app, hit start sensor. It takes about two hours to warm up, but then you're good to go for another 10 days, hopefully. <laughs> all right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching me take my basket bar and thanks for watching me change my CGM. I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.